With our new DLC 2 pack, Devastation, we're bringing four new small to medium-sized maps, a really cool new hybrid weapon, and of course, episode two of our Extinction Saga. Ruins is a map that takes place in South America in a Mayan temple complex. It's a triangular dom map. C and A flags are on either side, and B is actually tucked inside the temple. Towering over the play space is a giant active volcano. If someone completes a field order, they can actually cause the volcano to start hitting the play space and taking out enemies left and right. Behemoth is a really unique play space, something we haven't done before. You're actually fighting on an earth excavator, which is a giant saw. It's this long, medium-sized map, but it's also really high up. Just be careful and don't fall to your death. One of the coolest moments in Behemoth is if you get the kill streak, which is actually a helicopter with a minigun. You're riding on the side of the helicopter, you have the minigun, you're looking down on this giant earth excavator and you're just ripping it up. Collision is a really fun, small to medium-sized map. It takes place on a container ship that's actually crashed into a big bridge. So at one end of the map, you have the pristine ship. One team spawns there. The other team spawns at the destroyed portion of the map where the ship has collided with the bridge. Collision's a really symmetrical map, very flat. It's great for run and gunning. The B domination flag is actually up in the center of the map between the two sniper points. You can mantle up on top of it. People are fighting left and right to get up there. If you complete a field order, you'll be able to man the A-10. Swoop in and you can attack as many people as possible before it takes off. We decided to bring back a fan favorite from Modern Warfare 3. We took Dome and reimagined it as an archaeological site with a little bit of a crazy twist. And on Earth, you get to call in three seeker aliens from extinction. They spawn right in front of you, and then they tear off and look for enemies and blow up as soon as they find them. You can also unlock the Venom X from extinction. It's an Easter egg. I'm not going to tell you how to get it, but it's really cool. You can kill opponents directly by hitting them, but it also creates a timed explosive that will take out their teammates. Our new weapon for the Devastation Pack is something I'm really excited about. It's a new hybrid weapon called the Ripper. The Ripper brings with it something we've never done in Call of Duty before. It gives you the ability to switch between a submachine gun and assault rifle on the fly. If you need to clear a room, switch to your submachine gun, fire from the hip, and take him out. If you need to pick a guy off at a distance, swap to your AR, pull up your reflex sight, and pick him off. We've also got some great news for season pass holders. The Ripper is actually going to be available today for you to use. Episode two in the Extinction Saga picks up where Nightfall left off. So you're actually sent to this Chinese ship to try to find Dr. Cross and save her from Archer. We also have a new cryptid species called the Cedar. The Cedar will shoot gas cloud projectiles at players, similar to the Scorpions. He'll also occasionally fire these pods that turn into these mutated plant-like turrets. In episode two, we have crafting items. Now, you can take the Venom X and you can kind of find the right pieces to it and craft it into four different variations of that weapon. We also have player choice side paths. On these side paths, you'll find weapons, money, locker keys, lots of things that can really help you and your squad get through the rest of the map. Episode two culminates with this massive battle with a Kraken. Just this incredible, immense scale we haven't seen before in Call of Duty. I'm really excited for people to get to play episode two, and I'm even more excited because there's so much more to come. Four new maps, a new weapon, and a new episode to our Extinction Saga. Devastation drops on Thursday, April 3rd, first on Xbox Live.